Hello, I know that I said last time that I was going to actually record, you know, ha edit a video on time, and so it's not like entire months between videos, and I could actually get them out like at least once every two weeks or so, and obviously that did not happen. But in my defense, uh, there was a really bad uh, heat wave, and I'm extremely heat sensitive because of my health problems, so I spent a lot of the time laying on the floor, sweating, feeling bad, and also, unfortunately, my beautiful Mr. Beautiful Baby, super perfect, amazing little meatloaf boy, my cat, George, I ended up having to uh, get him euthanized because I found out suddenly that he was very, very sick without anybody knowing it. Because, I mean, cats cats hide sickness very well, so <laughs> there wasn't actually a lot of sun, which may be a good thing. He seemed very happy and like he was enjoying life up until like the last week or so, but... So I was dealing with cat things, summer things, lots of other things, just... Um, uh, somehow didn't find the time, so w once again, it's been <laughs> like over a month since I've uploaded something. I promise I do, I do, I really like doing this. I think video games are like one of the best, funnest hobbies that you can do because it's just like actually like doing fun stuff. <laughs> I love playing The Sims and everything, but it's just, you know, life. Life gets in the way, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, I'm, I I don't want to make any promises <laughs> and be like, I'm gonna get back to it. I promise this time for real. And then my other cat explodes or something. But you know, I don't know. I, I still I still want to. I would like to record and edit videos and hope that it's, it's something that I'm able to keep up with, maybe a little bit better <laughs> on top of all the other things that are always going on. But anyway, yeah, sorry for the delay once again. It will probably happen again. I can't say that it won't, but I would like for it to not, so I, I'm gonna try. I have like five different video that's another thing i instead of editing one video and uploading it i like to like simultaneously edit four things at once and then upload all four things once they're all simultaneously finished which does indeed take longer as a workflow because i'm not just i'm like <laughs> done with three things but not pokes in them because i'm waiting on the fourth thing so like i don't know there are parts of the process that could be better but also that's just how I work the best, and I'm going to keep trying, and this is fun and casual, and I probably shouldn't think about it that much, or spend too much time worrying about it. So anyway, sorry, it's been a while. A shout out to my cat. Uh, I don't think that- I, I don't know how many people who watch these videos actually- like, do, do people just come across them? Like, are, are where are my followers from? Are they just from random, random people on YouTube? <laughs> If so, if any of you actually came to my YouTube from my other blogs or other places, you've probably seen pictures of my cat because he's perfect and beautiful and I post pictures of him all the time, or he was, and I did, but um, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll put a picture of him in here or something just in the, in the front of the video to memorialize him. But yeah, enjoy The Sims as usual. Sorry it's been a month! <laughs>
Elister would want to use it more than Phil this Thessalius? What the hell is his child's name? Thessalius! Thessalius the second. And I... Did I change anything up here? I don't think so. It doesn't really look changed. Does this look changed to you? I think I put another picture on the wall. And I gave him a television. Because he would be the type of kid that has a secret... Because I remember I was saying I wanted him to slack off from school and not get anything done, but I couldn't find anything for him to do because there's no TVs or anything in the house. And now he has a television. I put up some of the paintings and I put up a few little decorations because Amrea has decorated the house for the winter. We might also have more money because while I was moving stuff around, th there was that thing where there was a bunch of like plants that were in the household inventory so I sold everything in the household inventory so when I sold all of the random plants we might have gotten money. Why is everything not a tree? Why are all of our plants not plants? There are things that are in season that look like they're dormant. Like the plasma fruit tree is in season but it doesn't look like a tree it's just a little stump in the ground. Look, all of our other tree- there was some tree- there was like a tree back here that last time was here and now is not. Hello? I was thinking something that I thought, oh look, it's Blur- Blurgant. Blurgert. Something I could do that is a solution that is faster than just letting all the chickens die. Can't you put farm animals in your inventory? What if we just hire a gardener to take care of the gardening stuff and we just put all of our animals in our inventory for Maybe some sort of story like, um, I don't know, the winter is too cold so we gave all of our animals to our neighbor for the winter or something like that. That could be a solution to the taking care of the farm animals thing. And then Amoraya could go to magic school because I think that's the next thing for her. I mean, she's still working. She's maxed the gardening skill. She is still working on, she wants to get every single medal in every category in the Finchwick Fair. And we need to do errands for the townspeople also. But aside from that, her thing is like go to magic school, find a girlfriend, that sort of thing. You, he doesn't have anything to do right now. He doesn't have any life goals aside from like raise his kid or something, which he's obviously not doing very effectively. He's kind of just meandering through life. Outcasted royal who hasn't read enough books. They have so many goals. We're trying to max every single skill for them, all of that stuff. Lots of stuff going on. And then the kids, I think I want to- I will age them up once Elister is like an A student and also they all have the skills I want them to have. Yeah, I want them to be like at least five in creativity and mental and maybe... How many skills can kids have? Can they have like music skill, cooking skill, athletic skill? And I want him to be an F student or at least a D student if possible. And once we've reached those goals, then I can age them up, but I don't know when that will be. Cause it seems to take a long time to change your grade in school. Maybe we, we clean the animals, we give them one, one last good uh, cleaning of the shed, refilling of the feed, making everything nice and clean and stuff like that. And then maybe we try to see if we can just like put them away. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Oh my gosh. Ouch. I stood up and somehow standing up from my desk hurt my wrist. But yeah, and look. I did put this llama fur down. <laughs> Remember I said that I think it would make a good decoration at some point? Oh look, there's a little bit of snow on the inside. Not the free thing. I'm gonna save like every five minutes because my computer is still acting weird. I just want to make videos for fun. I don't know why God has to stop me every time. Collect eggs. Clean coop. Persimmon working on these animals. I'm Maria working on the chickens. Work in three hours. Don't really time to do anything. Performance average. We have all the skills maxed and we've done everything. Oh yeah, we put these for sale. Yeah, yeah, inventory organized, all of that. Are you going to school or what? No, you're napping? Okay, can watch TV too. He's gonna be studying hard at school while the other kid is <laughs> napping at home. I don't think there's really anything for you to do. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Baby! Why don't we do a painting in the time before you go to work? Look! Baby is up here. Only one egg, one egg from each. Look at that, but whoa, what am I going through? What am I in? Oh, it's like a lamp. Look at the candles burning, that's kind of nice. And look down over, what is that? Who is opening the door? 
Okay, it's him. I thought it was a cat getting out again. I was like, no! I like this. I like being able to look over the loft area and look downstairs. Like, if I lived in this house, I would look down here all the time. I would watch people in the kitchen. God, of course, you have to get all the trash in the entire house. Hey, if we do take Andrea to magic school, we can make her a magic school uniform. Watch out. Even though I know that there's not... So I know canonically, I don't think there's- is there a real magic school? Like, it's not like a school school, right? You just- I- cause I- again, I got the magic expansion pack and I never actually played it, but like, I don't think you like, go to class. I thought you just went to the- to- you can go through that portal to that, like, magic world or whatever and learn magic, but it's not like a school setting. But I'm gonna pretend it's a school setting because that's what I think is cooler, so. <laughs> I would make her a uniform even- even if she doesn't need it. Whoa. Sun, most popular book. Snow Pibbins of Evil, though, is doing pretty good. And The Orb, The Wizard, and The Bloodbath is always a bestseller. He's just hanging out. Oh, cooking shows. You know what? That actually seems awesome. Staying home from school. It's a snowy day. You don't have to do anything. You just hang out in your room and watch TV. Could scatter more feed. You know what I didn't notice? We have a chicken sweater with hearts and also a top hat. I guess we got that from doing stuff or something. You're hungry. You are like totally fine in all of your skills. That's crazy. Because Persimmon usually has like 17 things wrong with him at any given time. <laughs> I think I'm gonna watch the snow chickens for a minute. I think they're, they're gonna finish their painting before they have to go to work. Okay, cool. Maths. Just do whatever you want before work because you have to go to work soon. So we will put that thirst up. I wish- is there some sort of thing to get people off their phone? What, mom? What's mean with you? I felt best of Happy White and I didn't hang out. I don't even remember what the fuck you're talking about, but okay. Sheer wool, sheer wool. We're gonna get all the harvest we can from them and then just see, like, I don't even know how to put the chickens and stuff in our inventory, but... Surely there's a way to do it. Look at them! Everybody's out here eating. Why do we have a million roosters and, like, no hens? Oh! That one just evaporated. Yeah, he went to sleep. Bye, Lyris! I gotta change Lyris' work outfit. Remember I figured out how to do that one time and then I never did it again? <laughs> I can't believe it's snowing. That's still so cool. I love the snow so, so freaking much. Oh, is that Eggs Benedict? Hell yeah. Look at this chicken. It's like sitting down. This is awesome. Snow chickens. To take stuff from the birds. We keep forgetting to- we used to be really good about taking stuff from the birds and talking to all the rabbits and stuff and then we kind of have forgotten to do that. A rose! A rose for the beautiful birds. What's wrong with Worker? Worker's legit just stuck here and you can't do anything. Like, I don't know, tend, tend the garden a little bit I guess? Ooh, a cow flower. Whoa. See, we get like cool gifts from the birds. We should always remember to take the gifts from the birds. It's 1 p.m. already, basically. Jeez. I like this little well. I wish you could actually do something with it, though, like get water out of it or, you know, just something small. You shear the fucking llama? Why can you not shear? The wool, please. Alright, you've done everything that you need to do. Now we can figure out if we can put these animals in our inventory. And will they, like, die in my inventory? Or can... <laughs> I hope this doesn't accidentally murder all the animals. Oh, there we go. We've absorbed the animal. <laughs> Animals like eating, like doing normal animal things, and all of a sudden it's just it's like evaporated from existence. There's no animation like le oh I'm leading the animal off into the distance or something. It just goes shoop. And did they stay content forever, or are they gonna like start getting upset in our inventory or what? It's gonna be almost like apocalyptic. Slowly watch all of the chickens be evaporated. I'm trying to follow the chick. What are you doing? Look at him. What are you doing? 
What are you doing? Just get the freaking chick. Boink. 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 Is that true? Are you sure? Some insightful things being said by my cat. Oh, you can get to them. Shut up. Alright. I like that he follows them. Come on, you can do it. I think you can do it, Persimmon. You can line up with the chicken. Boink! 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 Yeah! He's an A student! I mean, he's stressed out of his mind. Yeah, um, hello, you. Oh, one last chick- will you freaking pause? No! No good to die in our inventory? I didn't know they could still age in the inventory. That's not good. That's not a good sign. I think that's every single animal. He has never done his homework. He hasn't done crap and he will not- t like, can you just be a D student please already? Is it that hard to fail? That freaking thing, I forget. What is it? Pets dot toggle dot bing bong flexible underscore pets. Let's see. He, his affection is like, okay. It's not going down like crazy like it was before. Mysterious. I think this is cool. I think it's just that I love bells. I think I actually have a bell that looks like that, that has stars on the top of it. I'm fairly certain somewhere in my collection of bells, not holiday bells. I just have a general collection of bells. I think part of why I like holiday decorations. Look at this double rainbow picture. I put it up here. Part of why I like holiday decorations, I don't- I'm not like religious. I don't really care about holidays. I'm not- I'm also not edgy though and like, oh my god, fuck everyone who celebrates anything or cares about anything. You're all lame losers. Life has no meaning. Uh, you know, like I'm, I'm not like that. I just- I'll do my own thing. You do your own thing. If that's important to you, that's cool. That's important to you. It's not important to me, but that's fine. I'm not antagonizing you about it. Unless you antagonize me. I mean. But as long as you're not hurting anyone or coming after them for not doing the same thing that you do, then you know, whatever. Live and let live type of thing. So I'm not religious or anything, but I love lights. I love sparkly stuff. I love glass stuff. I love shiny things. I love tassels, like fabric tassels and rope. And I love bells and I love bows. And I really like snowflake patterns. So you can see how even though I don't celebrate the holidays, I like holiday decorations because they contain all of the things that I like independently. Like I buy holiday decorations to decorate my room. Again, not because I care about the holiday, but because I'm like, oh my god, it's shiny. Or like, oh, it's got lights. Oh, it has tassels and a bell. And I really love star imagery. Like when I was a kid, I used to be obsessed with stars. Not space stars, but like this type of star. I had a bunch of star pattern shirts and stuff. If you show, holiday or not, if you show me something that has stars, lights, sparkles, ribbons, uh, a bell and a bunch of tassels and some bows and stuff on it and it's also got glitter and it's got little glass orbs or whatever. I don't care what holiday it's for. I'm gonna be like, oh my god, it's shiny. <laughs> yeah, I really like, I really like this decoration specifically because you are not having a good time because you're very tired um, among other things. I'm kind of excited for them to be teenagers because I want to redecorate their rooms. I thought you're wearing cold weather clothes, like they keep being outside in their cold weather outfits and then it says, oh, your sim's really cold and it's like, okay, well, they're in a cold weather outfit. Like, what do you, do I need to make a double cold weather outfit to like, what? You're doing fine because you stayed home all day. How, how did you stay home and sleep all day but your energy still isn't up? You should clean the litter box and also use the bathroom. It is kind of one, two, three, four, five, five people in a house with one bathroom. I mean, you know, I feel like, hello. Stop it. Stop it. Stop chatting. I don't know, what should we do? I'm gonna close my eyes and just rotate and click on st what I click on. Ah, classic. All right, well. I forgot about this. That's kind of cool. A sad painting by Lord Persimmon. Why don't you use the bathroom and then go to slip? Oh, well, what is night on the town? We should see. Maybe somebody can participate. Since all of the animals are gone, maybe free food and drinks at restaurants? I wish, I wish, how do I get them to go places together? I want to take both on Maria and Lyris out. Because remember I said we need to be turning more people into vampires? I could take Lyris out to a restaurant and have them turn people into vampires, but like, on Maria should also be able to participate, but the last time I tried to get them to go somewhere, 
they didn't want to go with each other because they don't like each other. I don't know if there's like another menu I could use. You're gonna go paint. Oh, freezing to death. Come on. What the f are you? In his cold weather outfit, isn't he? Get into your cold weather outfit then first. For fuck's sake. I think maybe, perhaps, mayhaps, persmickety, in the winter, they should wear their cold weather outfit to school. Like, they keep changing into their not cold weather outfit to go to school or something. It's like, why don't you just automatically put on the cold weather outfit anytime that you have to go out and it's winter so you're not freezing to death on the way back from school. Second time a child has almost died coming home from school. Oh, class in three days. Oh, it's the weekend. Awesome sauce. <laughs> we can have plenty of skill building time and he has plenty of time to do all the homework and extra credit work and everything that he needs. I wish I could get everybody out for now at nine on the town. 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. Oh, 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. <laughs> like 6 a.m. one day to 2 a.m. the next day. I thought they meant 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. the same day. I was like, how does that work? Are you having time work opposite <laughs> backwards? But we will keep continue to monitor how the animals do in the inventory. Like, do they start dying or what? You good? I can't believe the freaking rooster died in the inventory. That's sad. What are you doing, Perseban? For once, he doesn't actually have anything he has to go do outside. Oh, the kids can have a snowball fight on the weekend. Ah, baby! Sure, I can't really put it anywhere lined up well on the wall. Let's have an intersecting Lyris's painting in an annoying way. Maybe for once, can you please resume your hoop? Please. I know you hate stuff, but it's so cool. And as an awesome skill, how are you doing? Oh, I forgot his inventory. He's got like selfies and stuff. I cleared out all their inventory. I didn't get his. Lyris will be home from work soon. Maybe we can go get free food somewhere. If Anrea would come with- maybe I need to make their relationship better temporarily so they'll actually go to, to somewhere with each other. Just cheat for just a minute. Just for a little second. <laughs> I love the little footprints in the snow. Look at the snow world, it's snow world. Look at the snow world, it is snow. Dog poop and pee pee. All the animals are sleeping in here. The coffee maker's broken and sizzling. See, like, they don't have a fear of a dead-end job. I don't know why the game has decided that they're like, oh, I don't like working and doing the stuff I do. Like, they canonically do. I'm the one that makes that decision. <sighs> Winter time. You're hanging out with the cat. That's cool. Miko Oho would like to purchase smoked ham on Trindy. Okay. Why are you always uncomfortable? I look through his inventory. I don't see, like, is it this? Is it the foul trout? Sure, I'll sell the foul trout. Are you good now? He's not- did you do the cross stitch? We gotta get a move on soon. Yeah, let's wait until he fixes this because I don't want him to get like electrocuted while we're gone. But whoa, that's the sunset. That looks so weird and bright. Or is that the moon? What the f is that? Is that the moon? It looks like crazy outside right now. It looks like it's afternoon and nighttime at the same time. Just go here. Just go there. Um, just go there. We're gonna look in the friends book. Oh. They're like secretly getting along in the background. I thought they hated each other too. You, all right, Lyris. Relation, friendship 50. They're gonna be decent friends all of a sudden. Wow, I made a new friend. <laughs> travel, 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 travel. Snowman looks angry. Because the snow has fallen over half of the eyes. Lyris will see you there, thank god. So I got done with the high school and the auditorium. Go to the disco and skate. Is it really just restaurants though? I don't know if the bubble tea place counts. And here, I turned the Dunkin Donuts into a bubble tea place. We could go to Crunkle's Chunk Emporium. I was thinking, I don't know if you can interact with people in a restaurant as much as you interact with them, like, in a bar or something. Because everybody will probably be sitting down eating. Maybe we can still find some people to turn into vampires. Oh, 
Oh, it's raining. Hold on, hold on, hold it on. Everybody's on their phone because everybody's on their phone every day, all the time. We've got somebody down at the bar. Edgar Dunlap. Astrona Mabel. Oh yeah, don't we have to wait to get seated? Oh wait, we can talk to you. I would like to request a table, please. Mr. Uh, Ezra Laird. I still like this. The cubes reflected in the mirrors. Making it look like it's eternal, like endless cubescape. Now I know eating makes Lyra sick, but remember that uh, chefs, when they eat fancy meals, they can like learn them and then make them. Let's both get seated somewhere. And then at some point, Lyris will spend time turning people into vampires. Way to be seated. All right. Are we going to the same table? Are we going to different tables? We are a part of the same household, so I wonder. It's a good place to go on a rainy day. We're sitting at the same place. Hey. I know we don't like each other, but we all want to come out to get free stuff, don't we? What the f- where, hold on, hold on. where are you going? Did you- oh, I could get up and browse the web. Order for table, please. Sit down. Sit down, Lyris. One dish and one drink per sim. I wish it said what was in things. This looks pineapple-y. So I think uh, she would want that. Lyris is a bartender, so... What's the, like, weirdest one that we haven't had? Sea of Fire. Shadow Realm requires a death flower? Uh oh What does that mean? I don't want to drink it and then I'll die. Poor SP bought off a mysterious hermit. Sure. Why not? So what would I rather Lyris learn how to make? Cured meat crisp on reclaimed forest wood? I would love that, actually, to eat that. Point is to learn cool dishes to make. Tiger shrimp and smoked dewdrop broth. I mean, that's pretty cool. Oh, look, everything's zero dollars. I think Lyris will learn how to make this, right? Isn't that the thing? If you eat it, you learn how to make it. Maybe I'm gonna. I'm, I, I might just be about to make them sick for literally no reason. No, Aunt Maria is tempted to go with the popcorn shrimp, but. <laughs> Because it's free, I think she would take advantage of the fact that it's free and be like, oh, I'm gonna order like the weirdest, most expensive thing. I don't know, what about shrimp and- Bill total zero. Yes. Yes. Ha -ha. Scared? Of what? When a thunderstorm happens, it makes everyone scared and all the sims stop functioning because they're too afraid of everything. Draw on placemat, we gotta do it, remember? Oh, I love the height sliders. Lyris is so much, like, taller, bigger looking than Aunt Maria. I miss the height sliders. I hope, I hope there's a way to make them work again. It's just fun variation in Sims. It's such an obvious thing you think they would have built into the game. So I kind of get why not, because of the animations, but still. What is that splashing noise? Oh, there's somebody in the actual pool. They're not even talking. They're just sitting. I do like the view and the rain outside. Who else is here? Elpheus Mandgrove. They're chefs. They're working on it. <laughs> Nobody's swimming out here, though. Oh, wow. It's a whole big thing down here. Why is she walking around in just underwear? Once they get their food, Lyris has to go down there. Where the f did Aunt Maria go? I thought you already ordered for table. What the f is going on? Stop swimming? Are they still gonna come with our food? Uh, they're still waiting for order to be delivered. Can you just stay here, draw on a placemat, please? Should I make them both draw on placemats just so nobody gets up? Oh, is this the food? Nice. Eat and learn experimental food. OMG. Instagram. I know what's gonna make you sick. I know what's gonna make you sick. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, 
they don't show up in mirrors. Isn't that cool? I forgot that about vampires. You just saw the vomit? You gonna drink your drink? What are you doing? Oh my god, you wanna go- You didn't even eat the food! Eat your food that you got for free. I was gonna say eat your food that you paid for. Uh, well, you didn't pay for it, so it doesn't really matter, but I mean, you should still eat it. Why can't we take stuff home with us? That would be awesome. We should be able to take home leftovers and, like, give it to the other people in our household. What if Wires took this home and gave it to Persimmon or something? Snaggle Flusters. Snaggle Fluster is wreaking a bit of havoc on Lyris' stomach, but they feel like they could learn anything right now. Perfect post from a Social Bunny post. Does that mean that we didn't actually save the photos? It's just we just made a post on social media? No, we do! We get to see the po photos! Yeah! Let's go into here. Oh, now nobody's in here, man! Come on! I think he's already a vampire, isn't he? Oh, there's you. Hey. Not allowed in the water. <laughs> no! Well, why don't you go here and just wait? Tershawn? I don't want to turn Tershawn into a vampire. I like Tershawn. I can't even see the prawns. Stop eating that one and try the other one. You can sample around. You like that one better? She looks a little more smiley faced about that one at least. Oh, you, what are you doing? Ah, ah, don't walk back upstairs. I'm waiting for people to show up. Who are, what about you? Who are you? When are you gonna be. Oh, you're not uncomfortable anymore. That's crazy. Turn into vampire. He's gonna go swimming. Okay, that's fine. You go swimming. I like the laser lights and stuff going on. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait just a few minutes to see if anybody else shows up, and it's okay if they don't. We will eventually leave. How are you? Do you wanna- have you ever wanted to be turned to a vampire? Where are you going? I'm gonna go upstairs? To oh, we're going to the VIP lounge for this vampire conversion. Don't know why you have to do this right here, but... Oh, because that's their food. Well, I'm not gonna turn you into a vampire while you're eating... ...faux meat protein plate and a Sims Mopolitan. Or maybe I will, I don't know. <laughs> nope. VIP lounge! Now, is there actually a way to get upstairs? Can I get my Sims to the top of this? I don't think so. I think I made it so insanely complicated it's something you can't actually do. Where's the social media house? Kind of like the bad girls clubhouse. Oh, this guy's here! I'm even gonna fly here as a bat. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> Alright, we should probably get home. We do have children. What are you doing? Back floating? Okay. Andrea's just <laughs> chilling out. Alright, I think it's time to go home. So quiet compared to the clubby, dancey bar atmosphere. Hey. Okay. We don't pay and leave because it's not paid, so do we just leave? Oh, come on, you had fun. It's really fun for them to go to a random place with a bunch of bright lights and bite people, so. <laughs> time to get back to the youths. The kids can have a snowball fight tomorrow! Also maybe, uh, Anorea can go to magic school! What are you so upset about? What are you doing? Oh, He woke up and the first thing he decided to do was play chess. Good. Good. I like when sims do things that are in character, because half the time they do really silly shit that's like, no, they would not do that ever. You, sir, are about to urinate upon yourself. Here's the thing. Did she finish it? 
Oh my god, she still didn't finish it. Here's your cross stitch, you bing bong. Also, you have a picture of your tiger shrimp in smoked broth or whatever, which you should drag onto the wall. Whoa! That's a huge photo. I don't know if we care that much about the food. I thought it was like a tiny, like the size of these. Giant picture of soup on our wall now. It's a clown painting. Okay, we have a picture of some seared steak and clover. I like this little scene. Look at this. Candles, an open book. Looks like you're doing something, doing alchemy by candlelight or something. What are you doing? You're in here at the bar? Oh, he's polishing the bar, of course. He wouldn't be using it. He would just... <laughs> he just came in here to polish things. Why don't you take a shower, you dump truck boy? Fine, clean, full. Seems like it's okay right now. Okay, everybody's got background tasks to be focusing on. Let's focus on them. A bing bong bam! a long time since I was born. Women in my life show me nothing but scorn. <laughs> What are you scared of? Lyris's excellent fashion sense gained them 21 followers. Scared of computer. No. Why don't you come over here and scratch post? Dimpa your dish. Dimpa your dish. Ooh, 34 followers. If only it was that easy. <laughs> Arnelia Sonaris in the Poof household has started a job as a telemarketer. Shandiseri Oskalova in the Fashion House household has started a job as a freelance artist. Well, that's good. Fashion House is a house full of fashion designer type people and models and stuff that I made. Kind of like the reality TV show house. I guess some of them would be freelance artists. Toddler was adopted by the Carlton household. I don't know who that is. Dog was adopted by the Miagrin household. That's the house. <laughs> That's, um, Lyris is a strange lover. His dog was adopted by the royals. Oh, that's Persimmon's family. Candida's fur in the fur household is now a backhoe operator. Lyris was adopted by the royal- What? The ro- Stop adopting children! I've gotta go disable them adopting children. Didn't they adopt a ch child before? They're supposed to be like a royal family. You can't I mean- I am totally against royalty, personally. But, you know, doing your suspension of disbelief that this is a fantasy story and buying into the fiction, the royals would be focused on maintaining the royal bloodline. They wouldn't be like, let me adopt 40 dogs and 73 random kids. Ooh, what was that? That's a pretty picture. Waxing crescent moon. Once you're done on the toilet, I think you should get your homework done soon. The best thing to do, don't wait till the last minute, do your homework at the very beginning of the weekend so the whole weekend you can just enjoy yourself and you don't have to think about it. You're just watching TV. You might as well delete your damn homework. You don't care. Our fits are selling for 280. Uh, 300 then, idiots. This is a cool outfit and you're all jealous and that's why you won't buy it. They were like pretty high in the fashion career. You'd think they'd be able to sell a fucking outfit. Like, <laughs> oh. We can make them like purple. Ah, we're still far away. Oh, see, I can zoom in and out now because I have the nice camera. Snowboy. I love email. <laughs> write an excuse note. And after that, we should write an actual. We not written. We've written mystery, fantasy, biography. How about a poetry book? I'm sure we've done that before, but we should do it again. Oh, Nico Oho is buying all my clothes. Why don't you go do something, child? Order a delivery. Pizza, pepperoni pizza. Nobody said he was allowed to do this like, I ordered a pizza! And the adults in the household- actually, I was gonna say the adults in the household would be mad. They probably wouldn't, because they wouldn't care. Anre is asleep. Persimmon is an absent father. He doesn't give a crap what any of the children in the house are doing. The only person that would actually notice and have the, like, situational awareness to see that somebody ordered pizza would be Lyris, and Lyris wouldn't care. Um, hello? Persimmon. <laughs> Clothing? No, I don't want you to summon grilled cheese. I would like you to, like, put on an outfit. You don't just get out of the shower and walk around nude. He's got frilly, frilly little shirt on. What is that? Is that his exercise outfit? Doing okay? Clean, full. Maybe they don't die in the inventory. That, 
If that's true, that could be a good cheat. I mean, we could just keep the freaking animals gone for a little while while Anoraya goes to school. Embarrassed because people saw me naked. Yeah, well, then you walked out of the place naked. I mean, that also probably wasn't cool. Anyway, as I was saying, the only person that would notice that anyone ordered pizza would probably be Lyris. And Lyris wouldn't care. Lyris would let the children have pizza because it doesn't matter to them, so. Are you in your winter clothing? Why don't you talk to yourself? I don't know. <laughs> You're doing homework? The one kid is doing homework, the other kid is babbling to themselves in the kitchen and ordering pizza. It's five in the morning. Good time to have pizza. This kid doesn't have any pictures of them. I do like to at least take pictures of people at all different life states. You can have like a picture of what they looked like when they were a kid and stuff like that. Whoa, that is really zoomed in close up. Seems like the type of pose. I I conceptualize the children as about like nine or ten years old at the moment. I kind of wish Sims had a preteen phase or that teens actually looked like teens. Teens and young adults in The Sims 4 are indistinguishable. I wish the teenagers were more clearly teenagers. Or that there was like an extra phase added that's like preteen, so like children are maybe seven or eight, and then preteen would be like, I don't know, 10 to 13 or so, and then you could be a teenager. Can we get a little bit of this Christmas stuff in the background? <laughs> what does Lyris do? Lyris is like casting an evil spell on the computer. Oh yeah, there we go them being dramatic. Hey, we've got some childhood photos. When's the pizza getting here? I can't keep this kid preoccupied forever. Now that you've done the homework, you know, do your extra credit work and then you'll be totally done. You can just hang out and do whatever you want all weekend. Don't take the trash out. I forgot. Never mind. Cancel. Trash canceled. Come here. Take the pizza. Name the book Yowl, a complaint in rhyme. We're like, yow! I'm all shook up. I'm all, <laughs> I'm all chook up. Poetry collection chronologically detailing time in the fa Basically kind of a uh, self-insert sort of thing. Um, I think she's like, are you dying of cold or something or what? Why are you having to stand in front of this dog poop at 5.45 in the morning in the middle of the snow holding a pizza for 30 minutes? Gary and flower wart. I forgot about them. Why is everybody wearing clothing I didn't put them in? I went through the trouble of making all these townies, that, they're not actually townies because I made them, but like artificially making people to populate the world, and I designed their outfits specifically so the world has a particular aesthetic and every character in the world is unique. And then you just go and put them in whatever the hell you want them to wear. Game. Why, are you, why do you have to walk so far out here to get the pizza? He's gonna be starving to death by the time he gets that pizza. It's taken like what? He ordered it at like what? Four in the morning? Thank you. Don't go in there. Boy! Fine, put your stupid pizza down. He's gonna move it and put it somewhere else. Where'd that go? I don't even see the bloody pizza! Oh, on top of here. What the freak? Now, you're gonna have to walk all the way back over here. I wish I could do run here. I would like for him to run there. I would like for him to be there now. We should hire a gardener. Just a quick detour though. We are going to go back to taking care of the plants and animals. It's just, I, I want Aunt Maria to go to school right now. Because winter is the perfect time to become a mage and go to magic school while it's like snowy and awesome. Scheduled gardening service. Can't, do we have enough money to do this? We'll see, I guess. Baby! Why don't you go here and watch the snow? That would be awesome to sit on a cat tree and watch the snow in the window. What the fuck is this? Where'd that come from? Are you almost over here? Where are you? Oh my god, he's making his way. So far, his morning has been doing his homework, doing extra credit, having tiramisu, and then I think he's gonna play the violin. He also played chess when he woke up. And then this kid's day has been watch TV, sleep, order pizza, walk for 40 miles in the snow to get the pizza. Oh yeah, and also see his dad walking around naked for no reason. Oh, Plopa Jorns! No! Plopa Jorns is probably gonna die in the inventory too. Aw oh, man, he's not tall enough to get a good <laughs> picture of the pizza. Oh, Listen to this, my Nika. alarm's going off. It's me, boy, the lack of ferritin inside your blood. Take the iron, you really need her. Remember that stupid... Beam. Oh, what was the original thing? E boy, the PlayStation, the PS5 speaking to you inside your brain or something. 
I modified it to make it be reminding me to take my iron because I'm anemic. <laughs> so now every once in a while my alarm goes off, then I always get concerned because it scares me no matter how many times I hear it. I always think it's a person, which I guess is the downside of using phone alarms that that contain your own voice. It's not just like a doink, do, doink, 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 doink. <laughs> it's like somebody talking. Sometimes I'll be all the way in the other room, like I'm in the kitchen and then I hear, it's me, boy. And I'm like, oh my god, what the hell? Is, is somebody break into the house? And I'm like, oh no, it's just my, my bizarre alarm. Or, Have your pizza, boy, you earned it. Hell yeah. I mean, tiramisu is not a healthy breakfast either, but... Alright, take photo. There they are! Oh, and it's a fra Christmas framed as well! The two children supposedly getting along for a few minutes. Not that they don't get along, but I kind of conceptualize that, like, they're not... They're very different types of people, almost opposites. <laughs> they're about very different things, so they're probably not, like... BFFs, you know, like they see each other at school and they don't talk. They kind of pretend they don't live in the same household. There's, when we're at school, I don't know you, like that type of thing. <laughs> oh, they should really do better at the piano. Why don't you play a concerto? Waiting for Aunt Maria to get up for their energy to be good so we can go to the magic place and do a magic thing. I probably won't really have time to like really get into that today, but I can at least go there and check it out. Your skills are this, 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 and that. You should make winter crafts and then also draw. Get a little bit of the creativity skill up just for fun. Don't go take a bath outside. You should eat another slice of pizza. This is a typical kid thing to do, I think. You like think the food tastes really good, so you just eat a bunch of it and then you feel sick later. <laughs> ah, somebody turned this thing on again. Adopted a dog and it's full of energy. Any spare time to help me tire them out? Nope. Put out the fire. It's gonna get stuck in front of the fire again. It is a cool winter morning though. Whoa! Well, you're done, you should have another piece of pizza. Hey! Stop! My own cat is eating hairs off the floor. I thought you were busy practicing. What are you doing? You're not gonna go to the bar! Stop! Why don't you get your logic skill up now? Deselius is gonna hide the pizza in his room, but he doesn't realize that um, it will spoil, so he's just gonna have it in here and eventually he's gonna have a rotting pizza in his room. <laughs> are you freaking awake like at all yet? You've slept enough, I guess. Really got it. It's already like 9 a.m. Gotta get you up and out of here, man. Take a shower, do that, and then we're gonna make a school outfit and then take you to school. You should work on your, like, fitness skill more. We're trying to get up. Fitness, handiness, and fishing are, like, the main things. His- oh, he did- he does really want logic up, too. I thought we had, like, a logic book somewhere. He's gonna steal Lyris's logic book out of their room. Just a little bit of light theft between arch nemesis pal kind of weird relationship people. I also need to reset this. What is it, negative 53? What a good way to spend a winter morning. I mean, look at how cozy this is. You got your fruit tree, pillows, cat succulent. You have a view of the snow falling. What? Uh, go to work, I guess. Forgot you had work today. What is this? Is this the winter craft? Awesome! Oh, it turned into this! What the freak? That's so cool. That's very fun! Surprised there's no moodlet from eating three- like, what, six slices of pizza? Thought maybe it would make him have to throw up or something. Oh, we got a plate hovering. What are you doing? Can you actually read it, or are you just gonna mess around with it like a ding-dong? Alright, Lyris is off to work. My cat in real life is meowling. No, you just want food. The kids are doing good, you're working on that. You're working on- oh, building a snowman, I forgot about that. Now, how are- I know. Maybe you should harvest- harvest all these. Fertilize this with some poops. No, I'm gonna watch him build a snowman. Macaronis! Macaronis art. Ponder moves. What a good morning. Wake up, finish your homework early, have tiramisu, 
do crafts while you watch the snow, then just hang out and play chess. I mean, it seems nice. Good morning for him, too. Well, look, he's like buried in the snow a little bit. He Reading about logic, you're finishing your macaroni art. That's like good art. That's like good art. That looks good. <laughs> Are you done with your snow person? Wait, I want to see the snow person. I gotta take a picture of it. It's also right next to the big snow person. Oh, we could take a photo of Amorea. Also of the snow pal. And then maybe some of the beautiful landscape, even though we already have enough landscape photos. Oh, the little white rabbit. Ooh, look at that. Fart pooper. I don't know, what what would like a little kid name? Destroy fart pooper. You are working on chess. In the snow, in your pajamas. You're done reading your book? What are you doing now? Oh, he's gonna have some corn. You done with what you're doing? Oh, you are done. You are done. You are done. How are you done? So here's what we need to do then. We need to make an outfit. Stop eating hairs. Stop eating hairs. What? So hungry even though he ate two hours ago. He's so, so hungry. Just so hard to be a little baby boy. Snow. Where's that dog? Dog we never paid attention to. <laughs> I can't believe it's snow. I can't believe there's lit candles in an unattended room. Oh, the cats are watching it, don't worry. Look at that cool macaroni art. I should put that in Lyris' room because it's their kid. That would be kind of funny if we could mail it <laughs> to Vasmer. Oh no, did you see that notification? Don't forget you have an animal in your inventory that's getting unhappy in there. Farts! That means it doesn't work. They still have need decay in the inventory. That sucks. You wanna hear boy? We're gonna go to the magic school anyway. I guess their school uniform should be a cold weather outfit because they're gonna be out in the cold weather. Don't want the thing to happen that happens to the kids. Oh, awesome, a real school uniform. What the magic school colors be? Not the magic school that I already made <laughs> that I mentioned earlier, but like a different magic school. I like this. This kind of bluish, like teal color. Though I wish we could wear a scarf with it. That is the one thing that's making me sad. We have a longer button down the front plaid skirt. And I think this one has plaid in it too. This is the one I was thinking about. Could also get plaid pants. Now I do kind of like the long button down the front skirt. I mean, that kind of looks cool. I think that goes with it kind of in like a weird way. Which one looks better? This skirt? Or this skirt? And it is a magic school uniform. I feel like they should have boots as part of the uniform instead of like normal shoes. I'm having trouble deciding on the shoes. And maybe the school policy is any shoes are fine as long as they're black or something. I wish they had normal fingerless gloves. I have these, but these make people look shiny. Fishnets socks or something. A different hairstyle too. That's a cool look. One of the kids should have this as their look when they're a teenager. I don't know which kid. Maybe Thessalius, the emo one. So that's kind of a cool school look. I wish I could have the scarf. Are there any scarves that work? Any neck things that show up even with this on? I think necklaces should be allowed to show up over clothes. So the circle glasses aren't cold weather, of course. The square glasses keep you warm. Oh, gold rims are cool. We could have like hair clips. Strawberry earrings. Now she's not really a makeup type person. She'd maybe wear a little makeup to magic school. Because it's magic school. Now that's something to wear to magic school. That would be cool, but it's a little bit complicated. Magical ring of the farm. That's her magic school uniform. Whenever she decides to go to magic school, she's gonna be wearing that. And we'll try out going to school soon. Even though the, the farm animals are dying in the inventory and it doesn't matter and nothing matters and I cannot free myself from the freaking animals. She could take them to like daycare. Or you can have a babysitter. Or you could have like a cow sitter. Happened again. Look at this sideways plate. What is that glitch that makes the plates turn sideways? And change outfit. 
She's got so many outfits. But she does like fashion. By that measure, Lyra should have more outfits too, because Lyra is an actual fashion designer, but you know. Lyra is more about designing for other people. They have a pretty tame wardrobe themselves. They're just a generic goth person who occasionally likes to experiment with other styles. Working on doing chess. Just like literally doing whatever. You're tired already? Man, that kid works up a sleep a -tite. Having a 1 p.m. nap. You're working on your stuff. You're working on your stuff. You're working on your stuff. Good night, baby. Ready for school. Oh yeah, I guess we should get the animals out of the inventory because they're all apparently doing bad. I, how do I put them back in the thing? Uh, okay, well, we'll figure that out later when I come back. <laughs> we're gonna take a break. We'll possibly stop recording for the day. I'm not sure. It depends on how things go. Look at the freaking snow. I just never get tired of seeing snow. I know there are people who say, oh, you all, people only care about snow if they're not around snow. If you've lived in snow since you were a kid, you're desensitized to it and you don't care about it. And it's like, I don't know. I've lived around snow and I've never stopped thinking it was awesome. I think if I drove, it would be worse. Like, I don't drive a car. I think I would hate driving in the snow and the ice, but like, in an ideal scenario where you can walk to things or work from home or something like that, if that was possible, then there's no downside to snow. The only downside to snow is stuff like that. If you eliminate the capitalism of it all and the fact that we have non-walkable, automobile-focused cities, such and such and so on and so forth, and you lived in like, a nice little walkable town and you could do your work from home or take a day off or something like that, then snow is still perfect. Anyway, I will hopefully be back at some point and then I'm gonna get Amorea started on being a wizard. I don't care. I don't care whether all the animals explode and I can't figure out how to get them out of my inventory. I've made the decision that this winter is gonna be Amorea's winter of mage stuff. So out of what? That's what we're doing. He's finally got an A+. Plus. He's an A student. We're getting their skills up and we're getting their grades to where they need to be. So hopefully within a soonish amount of time, we can age them up too and they can be teenagers. And I'm done with the high school. We could actually follow them to high school. Before I hadn't finished it, but now I've fully modified it and made it into my own thing. So we could maybe see them in high school once or twice or something. Not all the time, because I think it would get boring to follow them to high school every day, but... I feel like go on their first day of high school or something like that. Anyway, yeah. Bye for now. Hopefully I'll be back to work on all that stuff.